hello friends welcome to another video in this video we will talk about uh, support and resistance zones we will talk about what are the support and resistance zones how to identify these zones on the chart and how to draw these zones on the chart and why the support and resistance zones are so critical to our trading plan so if you ask me what are the support and resistance zones so friends i would say the support and resistance zones are the pivot points on our chart which he which have been retested multiple times so support and resistance zones are the zones on the chart which have been retested multiple times that is that is going to be the definition of these zones now if I tell you how to identify these on the chart. So for that, let's uh, start uh, with the chart. And right now we are on the USD JPY chart on the daily time frame. Uh, I have some zones already marked, which I'm waiting for for the current trade. So let's go to historical data, and suppose let's we start from here. We start from here, and suppose you come to the chart, and uh, you have to draw your support and resistance zone from the scratch so suppose we are here and how to draw the support how to identify first of all how to identify the support and resistance zone as per the definition i mentioned that uh, support and resistance zones are the zones which we tested multiple times if we go by that definition and try to identify the zones on the chart we can have hundreds of zones but do we need all uh, all these hundred zones at the moment no so we are going to focus on the recent zones which the price is most likely going to hit in the recent future we will mark one zone above as a resistance and we will mark one zone below as a support in case price going in either direction so let's start and uh, let's see and one more thing to identify the these zones we need to consider two points one is the zone should be recent I mean, they should be recently tested one point and the second thing is this zone should be retested multiple times in the past so the zone should be recently tested and the second point is it should be multiple it should be having multiple retest in the past as well so uh, let's uh, going to find is we are here so if the price keep on going higher then this is going to be the zone which will be hit first so it is the recent zone let's mark it now this is the recent zone but let's check historically if it is retested multiple time yes we have one two three four five six seven and here also a nine so we have multiple tests for this zone we can consider it as our zone so to draw this zone what i will do what i do usually i mark two lines one line just below the highest point of the uh, highest point of the body of the candle this is the swing high and if you see the body of these candles here are here so i mark one line just below that and i mark one line just below the highest point of the body of the candle so this is going to be my zone as we can see we can have the, these multiple retests in this zone so this is one zone which is going to act as a resistance if the price keep on going higher now the second zone which we are going to mark as a support zone if the price start falling down then we must have a zone which should act as a support to the falling price now if we see if we have here if the price start going down what is going to be the most recent uh, 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 zone which is going to act as a support to the price this swing low this swing low is going to act as a support to the falling price so this is recent yes this we have a zone this is a recent now we have to check if this has retested in multiple time in the past 
Yes, if you see one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have multiple tests on this zone. Again, we will draw it same as we did the other zone. One, one line we will draw about the lowest point of the body. Okay, and one one line below the lowest body. So we have this one as our support zone and uh, this one as our resistance zone where we, <clears throat> we will mark it as red. So we have our resistance zone and the support zone mark. Now, if the price keep on going high, if you see we are in a bullish trend now, or you can say we are in uptrend now, we are making uh, we are making high, low, high, low, and we are expecting the high, high. So we are in uptrend now. If the price keep on going higher, this this zone is going to act as a resistance. And those who are the counter trend traders, they can look for any kind of counter trend opportunity in this zone. But if the price keep on falling down, this zone, this green zone is going to act as a resist uh, support. Sorry, this going to uh, this zone is going to act as a support to the price. And uh, those who are the trend followers, they can look for any kind of trading opportunity to go long based on their st uh, strategy and the trading rules. So this is how you can trade. Other than these two, what I usually do, I mark one more zone below and above so basically i have two zones above my current price and two zones below as my current price so let's mark one more zone above after this if we look left what is going to be the next recent zone this is going to be the next recent zone so let's see if it is retested multiple times yes we have a retest for this one two three four so yes, six. So we have multiple retests for this zone as well. We will draw it the same way as we have drawn other zones. One line above the body and one line below the body. So we have two resistance zones now to the price. One zone is here and second zone is here. So these are the two most, uh, the, the, these are the zones which will be uh, hit by the price if the price keep on going higher. Now the second zone below, if the price start falling down after this zone, what is going to be the next zone? What is going to be the next major zone? The next major zone I see is, we can mark this one as well. We have, the, this one can also be acted as a recent zone. Yes, we can use this one as well. So we have this one as a recent zone as well as the price did start falling down after this green zone this one this is recent yes it is recent and do we have multiple retests yes we have one two three four five so we have multiple retests on this zone as well so this is going to act as a support as well we will color it green and these two are the zones which are going to act as a resistance if the price keep on going higher. So that is how, guys, we identify the support and resistance zones in the market. And that is how we draw them. And that's it. We just wait for the price to enter any of these zones. And then accordingly, we take the trades. If we are the counter trend traders, we take entry on the zones which are acting as a resistance if we are the trend follow traders trend following traders we take entry on the support zones so this was the video guys i hope you liked the video and if you really did please like the video share the video and sub sub subscribe to the channel to support the channel and the youtube algorithm thank you very much see you in another video